Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another quick C Sharp tutorial. So today I'm going to show you the graphical interface, the customization itself. It's going to be a short tutorial just to demonstrate you how several things, how to make something work. So let's start. First of all, we have this uh, blank form. If you don't want to customize it, be my guest. Especially if you're working with speech recognition program, uh, you can leave it blank. But it's kind of nice that program has some sort of a touch, you know, uh, wallpapers and such. So click on form one, and here on the bottom right corner, we have uh, form one properties. So um, in the appearance here, you have back color. It says to control, so you don't have to change it. You cannot change it to transparent, so we need don't need that one. Below here, we have background image, and it says none. So click here, and you see this little box with three dots. Click there, and you're gonna get it. Select resource. So click on local resource and import. This one here. If you already have uploaded the properties of the form one or you, I mean your project so you don't have to uh, enter it from here you can just click here so that depends on how you're gonna do it so let's find some awesome wallpapers so let's take this one but it's too big so right below the background image you see background image layout and it says tile click here and click the stretch so we get the image that fills out the entire form. So you can just move like this. It's gonna get bigger. It's gonna get smaller. Depends on what you really like. Um, also here we have a. Uh, where was it actually? See form border style. It says sizable. You can click. You can choose any of these like fixed 3D or um, fixed tool window. It also you can uh, as I did in my Alex project I removed this I set it to none and I use the picture box and uh, I create this a little thingy here so that's about the background image so next we're gonna go to the buttons now to create something nice about buttons you can use either picture box or a buttons but uh, but uh, at some point buttons have much more functionality than the picture box so let's make this bigger and we have button one so in the button one properties we have text so that's like the first thing you're gonna show in the button one properties so we're gonna remove this because we don't need it apparently and scroll all the way up to the appearance again now have again back color it says to, it's set to control so click here and click on web and also click the first one is transparent nothing happens nothing just yet below you have background image so click again on those three little dots and let's import something I suggest that you use uh, PNG images because it they're a lot more better uh, than JPEG and such so yeah PNG images because it has like basic picture nothing behind it um I don't know let's play something How about this one Again, picture is too big, so background image layout, tile, stretch. Now, I want to remove this. I want to remove this uh, grayish background. I also, because of the picture, just let me change the wallpaper to something a little bit uh, lighter. I right, bing. You see this? Besides these, this grayish image, you have this little border around the button. So click on the button and in the button properties scroll a little bit down to, to the flat uh, flat appearance and flat style. In the flat style set, set it to flat. Now what this does it makes the button flat so the background of the button is set to transparent. That's why we set it to transparent in the back color it was set to control. This way you leave nothing but picture which is presented on the background like this. Um, also, like I said, the picture box. You can use the picture box, but you know it's, it's already set at the flat. If you want to just leave like that little effect when you click on the mouse, cl click with your mouse on the button, and the button is like pushed in, so we'll leave it to I'll leave it button as uh, it's a flat appearance as standard or pop up. Now, next thing is we have this little black border around it. So, like I said, we have flat style and flat appearance so click this little plus next to flat appearance and you have border size remove this and set it to zero and also you have these little uh, mouse down back color and mouse over back color which gives you the color 
of when you go with your mouse over the icon and once you click the icon so let's change this to I don't know um, green and let's change this to uh, blue this border color is the color of this border around it but we set it to zero so there's no border at all but if you want to set it like five it's this big so that's kind of a not good but if you want it so you can change like this yellowish I don't know depends on what you like so we're gonna leave it to zero so that's how you create a button here it gives you function it gives you certain functionality it's pretty much like a picture box so no worries there um, also we're gonna run this I'm not gonna code anything this is a simple demonstration of how to customize your background just to see the way how to add backgrounds and also how to remove borders from buttons otherwise you're gonna get that little uh, dull effect like little cubicles uh, where your button is placed like see so we have just button see it's greenish once I click it's blue so that's about the buttons also about the customization is the toolbox which you can find uh, sorry just ignore that which you can find the tutorial a little bit down I think that's a first or second tutorial which gives you that once you click on the button when you scroll all the way down to the button properties it says tooltip on tooltip one and you can give some certain information about the desired thing now in the future videos about C-Sharp Basics I'm gonna get in more about the customization not just more it will be pretty much a sort of uh, get to know things I recently found the glass effect uh, code online which gives you like this uh, like a star tray uh, bar star tray or whatever gives you this little glass effect around your form so make it a little more um, simply awesome especially if you're working on the speech recognition program or any other program at all this will be the perfect sort of entrance introduction to how to create the perfect customization customized program and you're gonna get two sh two things you're gonna get coding coding itself which, gonna, which, gonna, which is going to take a lot of time and you have uh, the customization which at the end very end when you see that what you've done how beautiful it looks and unfortunately today's today only appearance sells anything but just to show off you're gonna have one beautiful program and regardless of the code so yeah that's about this is about it this is what my friends request about customization this is just intro of it just to see how you're gonna place the buttons how you're gonna use picture boxes and such uh, in later tutorials I'm gonna make the glass effect I'm gonna use a picture box as a button I'm gonna show you how to use everything else work as a button or other way around so that's just a little thingies of how you should uh, make the how to create a customization of the program so I hope you enjoyed it if you did leave a like comment and subscribe I know I'm I know this video is not that much this is simple rubbish how to create something but it's just like I said it's gets you start from something so I see you guys in the next tutorial I stay awesome